Welcome to gmatquestions.org. This is a tutorial for a critical reasoning type question on the GMAT. Let's go ahead and begin. 7 out of 10 people prefer Advar to Tyrosin. So when you need the fastest acting headache relief, take Advar as your drug of choice. Which of the following, if true, most effectively undermines the advertisement's claim? Okay, so what we get here is a claim being made by an advertiser. And the question is asking us to provide the answer choice that would undermine the claim, thereby weakening that claim. And we know that whenever we're asked to either strengthen or weaken an argument, claim, or conclusion, that we're dealing with an argument evaluation type question. In this case, we're being asked to weaken the claim. So let's go ahead and analyze the passage and determine what logic is at work which allows the advertiser to make the claim that one should choose one drug over another. So in the first part we get that 7 out of 10 people prefer Advar to Tyrosin. In the second sentence we get the conclusion that if a person needs the fastest acting headache relief then one should choose Advar as one's drug of choice. And so what we get in the second sentence is the idea that thus, which is expressed in the so, because seven out of 10 people prefer Advar to Tyrosin, one should choose Advar for the fastest headache relief. Now we have to note here the use of the superlative fastest because what it implies is that the reason that 7 out of 10 people tend to pick Advar over Tyrosin is because Advar is faster acting. But not just faster acting, it's the fastest medication that one can take for headache relief. But in this context, the point is that Advar is said to be faster acting than Tyrosin presumably justified by the 7 out of 10 statistic. So if we take one and two together, what we get is the following claim. Because 7 out of every 10 people choose Advar over Tyrosin, Advar must provide the fastest acting headache relief. Okay, so the logic at work is that one can assume that Advar is faster acting because 7 out of 10 people choose Advar. Okay, so now that we understand the logic at work behind the claim, we can go ahead and analyze each of the answer choices in determining which of the following would most effectively undermine or weaken the claim being made by the advertisement. A. Both drugs make headaches subside. Okay, so A is an interesting answer choice because what it seems to imply at first glance is that both drugs are equally effective at making a headache go away. But we always have to be very careful about the wording. And as we see in A, there's no qualification as to the level of efficacy that each drug has. In other words, the idea that both drugs make the headache subside does not give us any information as to how fast one becomes effective over another. And let's remember that the claim being made uses the superlative fastest, which logically presumes that tyrosine may be fast acting, okay, but that Advar is the fastest. So in other words, the passage presumes that both drugs do make headaches go away, but it also presumes that Advar is the faster acting of the two. The point to take away is that A is enticing because it seems to suggest that both drugs are just as efficacious and if it did in fact suggest that then A would be a very good candidate in undermining the claim considering that both drugs are just as efficacious that is neither is faster or slower than the other then that statement might undermine the claim that one should take Advar because it's the fastest acting. But we don't get that in A. Again, it's simply making the claim that 
both drugs are efficacious, but without any qualification. So A is incorrect because the statement is too general and presupposed by the passage, making it out of scope. So it's going to be. Adivar doesn't only treat headaches, but other types of discomfort. Okay, now, because the, the logic at work in the passage is referring specifically to headaches, and because we have no further information on other types of discomfort or pain, then we can say that other types of pain are completely irrelevant to the line of argumentation behind the claim, right? Because we have no corresponding information. So we can go ahead and mark B as incorrect since any pain or discomfort other than headaches is not relevant to the advertisement in question since it does not bear on the logic of the claim. C. A small subset of the population cannot tolerate tyrosine and must use Advar. So what the statement seems to be claiming is that a small subset of the population cannot actually take tyrosine, so they're forced to purchase Advar instead. What is the logic at work in this statement? So if we have a subset of a population that for whatever reason cannot take a certain product, and so they're forced to take the next popular brand, let's say, which in this case is Advar, and that may reasonably lead to a rise in sales. Accounting in that regard for the higher rate of people who prefer Advar to tyrosine. In other words, if the higher rate does not justify the idea that Advar is faster acting, which would mean that people do not take it in higher amounts over tyrosine because it's faster acting, but because they're allergic to it, then that might reasonably undermine the claim being made by the advertisement. Namely, that the reason people take Advar over tyrosine is because it's faster acting. So we can go ahead and put C off to the side for the time being, but it's certainly a good candidate. D. Advar has been found to be much more effective than tyrosine. Okay, so answer choice D is fairly straightforward. It's claiming that Advar has, in fact, been found to be much more effective than tyrosine. And whether that means effective in relieving pain or effective as in relieving pain faster makes no difference. Because the reason that answer choice D is incorrect is that it quite clearly lends support to the passage rather than undermine it. So we can go ahead and mark D as incorrect since the statement supports rather than weakens the advertisement's claim. E. Advar costs 75% of the total price of tyrosine. Okay, so what we get here is a situation which is similar to the situation in C, considering that it provides an alternative explanation as to why 7 out of 10 people would prefer Advar to tyrosine. So in other words, because Advar costs only 75% of the total price that tyrosine costs, this might lead people to purchase it in higher amounts, considering they pay 25% less. And if that were the case, then it does weaken the claim being made by the advertiser, considering that the claim is based on the statistic itself. So what we have here is a choice between answer choice C and answer choice E, since they both seem to do very similar things. So in situations like this, it's going to be the subtleties that matter. These situations, however, will never be too ambiguous. There's always going to be some line of clarity that can be deciphered if you've studied enough beforehand. So in this case, we can see that answer choice C mentions specifically that it's a small subset of the population that is driven to purchase Advar over tyrosine. Now, because it's referring specifically to a small subset, that also means something along the lines of a fairly insignificant subset. 
Whereas in E, there's nothing that we can consider in the wording that would suggest that the 25% reduction in price of Advar Retiracin did not have a significant effect. So C is outside the scope of the passage, considering that the statement does not weaken the claim because the 70% rate of preference for Advar over Tyrosin is not likely to be a result of a small subset of people allergic to tyrosin. So this leaves E as the only possible correct answer choice considering that the statement properly identifies a factor that would persuade customers to purchase Advar over tyrosin without necessarily being a faster acting drug. This has been a tutorial from gmatquestions.org and I hope you found this segment useful. We encourage you to explore the rest of the features that we have to offer on our website, and we thank you for listening.